G'day, I'm Drew from Gringo Productions, and today we're going to be looking at how to make this dark and moody look. So this look is kind of inspired by the TV show Outsider. It's not a bad show, it's not the best show in the world, but it gets the job done. There's a few little things we have to do. So in our first node, all we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of contrast and saturation. But first, let's look at our balance. So come across here, qualify, and then right click to show your bigger value. And we're gonna get those whites, whites, and those blacks, blacks. So let's look at our whites. And as you can see, we're pretty much spot on. And for our blacks, we are pretty much spot on too. And our mids, we're looking really good. So I balance this using a white card. So the balance should be pretty good. So let's just add some contrast down here and add some saturation. So from here to here, so not a huge change, but enough. Now let's bring the overall brightness down of our image by using the gain wheel. And then take some of those mids down. Now we're going to leave the black as is because we are going to be darkening the image a lot. And I don't want to crush the blacks too early or at all. So let's make a new node, Alt S. Call this one skin for skin tones. So using our qualifier, we'll make our selection. So if you don't know how to use the qualifier, I did a video previously about this link below just watch that one so click and drag across your skin and then shift H will bring up your selection and as you can see we've got a pretty good selection we just need to fix this up here and then this up here so bring some of those highs up in the luminance and bring some of those lows up and down try to get a cleaner selection and we need this area here so let's plus it in by using this selection range and then let's really soften it right out. So let's blur it out. And this helps to key in your qualifier a lot better. So let's make a simple mask around the skin because everything else is selected. So using our pen tool, let's make that selection. It doesn't have to be perfect. Try to avoid the blacks as much as possible, but he does have a large beard. And then let's bring it in and then let's bring it out to soften it and this help avoid any strange ghosting. Okay, so let's check our selection. Shift H to get back into normal mode. And let's go down here and take off the power window and go down to hue and bring it all the way down to blue. So as you can see, we need to fix this up here and everything else looks pretty good. Maybe around here, we could bring that window just back a little bit. And then around here, we want to get this area. Let's go back to our qualifier. And just bring those lows down. And then back to window again. And just soften it right out. Okay, so let's have a look. So that looks pretty good. I mean, the skin looks awful, but the selection looks pretty good. Now, we are going to track this image, but we're not going to track it now. We will track it at the end. Let's make a new node, but this time we're going to make an outside node, Alt-O. And in this node here, we're actually going to leave it as is, and we're going to come back to it later on. So it's everything outside we've just selected. And we're going to be darkening this background down a lot. So after that, let's make another node, Alt-S. And this is where we're going to start creating our look. So let's go down to the curves and let's make a simple contrast curve. Alrighty, now let's get some of that greeny, moody look going on. That looks pretty good. And let's bring some of those reds out a little bit. Okay, looking very green. I know it looks really poxy at the moment, but we'll be changing this a lot. So just bear with me. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a layer node from this node. So Alt L and we do this so we can grab this little box here and connect it to this little triangle here. So that will 
essentially bypass the skin from the look we just made. And what I mean by that is anything we change in here with this node doesn't affect the skin and vice versa. So if we have a skin in this, as you can see, it's not affecting anywhere else. And as you can tell, we need to fix up our selection. So let's just do that now really quickly. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now let's move on to the next step. So Alt S to make a new node. And then we're gonna make an outside node with this one too, Alt O. Then we're gonna make another node, Alt S. And this one we're gonna call window with a nine in it for some reason. We're gonna make a gradient power window. So come down here and what we're gonna do is simulate that there is a street light outside. So let's make it warm and then come across here and using the temperature, let's go even warmer and bring it across. Shift H will bring it up and the longer the line, the softer the gradient. So we'll say there looks pretty good. So in our outside node of this, which would be this area here, of course, let's make a simple curve to add some contrast. Okay, so that's looking good. So let's go to this node here, which will be our overall look. So let's name that overall. And what we're gonna do here we're going to make it a lot darker. So again, using the curves, let's bring it down. In terms of contrast, that's looking pretty good. I think what we can do is bring down some of the whites to make it a lot moodier. And then let's add some green into the overall image. So that's looking good. Now what we need to do obviously is fix up the skin tones. So let's go back to our skin tones and have a look what we can do. So first things first, let's set the hue back to normal. And as you can see, we are very red and much brighter than our overall background. So let's bring some of that gain down and then let's take some saturation out and let's add a little bit of contrast by using the curve. So the reason why I'm using the curve is we can really adjust the light hitting the face and this will give it a, a really nice gritty look. So we don't want to go too far. Let's say around about there looks pretty good in terms of brightness. Now what I want to do here is blend this skin into the background a little more and maybe this is a little too green but let's fix the skin tones for now. So we can do this using the curves. So Pull out some of the red and then add a little bit of green into the shadows. So that's looking pretty good. I think we can make it even a bit better. So let's go to our mid-tones. Let's add a little bit of warmth in there and let's bring down the overall brightness of the skin and add a little bit of green into the shadows maybe a little bit of red into those highlights to help separate the skin a little bit more. Okay, so let's have a look. So that was beforehand and that's after. So I think we can make it just a little more contrasty. I'll just do a simple contrast down here. So that's looking really good. Let's bring down some of this brightness in the background. So let's go back to our wall node, which was this one here, of course. And what I'm gonna do here is, let's go back to our gain and bring it down and let's desaturate it a bit. Maybe about there. And let's actually take some of this green out. I feel like it's a little bit too much. And then let's add a little bit of contrast to our wall. So 
So I feel like maybe we've desaturated just a little too much. So let's add some more saturation back in. And then maybe we've taken too much green out. So let's add a little bit more green in. So let's take some of the brightness out of this overall image. Let's go back to our first node. Bring it down just a little bit. So maybe what we can do is add a little bit more blue into the shadows. Let's go back to our look. And this is why this is so great. Because we can make all these adjustments. And then a little bit of blue in there. Just the smallest amount. And maybe just brighten those skin tones just a little bit more. Not too much. Just add a little bit more saturation in the skin tones. Just a really small amount. Maybe add a little bit of pink and red into the brighter areas of the skin to help break it up a little bit more. So let's go back to our highlights. And let's go towards more that pinky kind of color. And even in the mid-tones. Let's change that towards a greeny, yellowy look. Okay, so I think let's make one more adjustment. We don't have to do this part, but I think we'll just try it and see how it goes. So come back to our window, and I'm just going to pull it across just a little bit more. So this helps just to create a little bit more color contrast in the face and break up the image a bit more. So everything looks really good. Last thing we have to do now is track the actual skin. So we're gonna do this by using the tracker and we're gonna do it by using frame. Now, I know if I did this automatically, it is not gonna track properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and make points. So here's a point here. And then I'm gonna make some other points. And some more until I get a good looking track. Now this is going to take a long time. So we'll just skip ahead to the end. Otherwise you'll be bored as hell. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done all the tracking and it was quite tedious, longer than I thought it was going to be, but you know, it pays off. So he is looking around. As you can see, it looks, tracks good. No problems at all. So another thing we can do, if you really wanted to, was to go back to our brick section and we could blur out the background a bit. They do this a lot in the Outsider. Um, it looks like they've done it in the post-production because it is pretty intense. And I notice when everyone's talking, they're not moving at all. But I mean, they could be shooting at a really low aperture. But anyway, so come across our OFX. And if you don't have the studio version, you can just come down to here and use the blur section here. And as you can see, that'll blur everything out. Now it looks pretty pox, so bring it down a bit. But if you do have the studio version, what we can do is we can chuck a lens blur on. So open FX, come down to lens blur, and we'll blend it right in. And then you can play around with all these if you like. So the blur size, curvature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And So I'll just make a few little adjustments. And you know, as you can see, there's heaps of stuff you can do. So even though we do have a really contrasty image, this does help to bring out the character even more. I mean, it's not something you have to do, but since we can do it because we have that outside node, we can make these adjustments. And that's why it's really important to have good node structure. That way we can always come back and make any changes. So there's plenty of looks you can create with this grade. So feel free to download the footage and have a play along and see what you can come up with. I mean, the idea about the color grading is to make anything you really want to make. So you don't have to do this grade. You can make something that's completely different. So that's our look for today. There is a few steps, but all in all, we've gone from this image here, which was shot in obviously broad daylight, to this image here, which is a very moody, 
dramatic look. I think it looks really good. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the grade, any suggestions that you would make. Art is very subjective, so any opinion is more than welcome. So I've been Drew from Gringo Productions and have a great day.